What is up, Film Geeks? My name is Trevor, and welcome back to my channel. Since Disney's Tangled just had its 10-year anniversary, I thought it made it for the perfect time to go and rank all 10 Disney Revival-era films and place them on their proper tiers. Join me in the comment section. How does your guys' ranking compare? And with all that said, let's get right into our tiers. Okay, so starting off with our tiers, we have Amazing, then we have Great, then we have Good, then we have Okay, then we have Meh, then we have Bad. I don't think there's a bad film in this. Um, I think the lowest tier we're probably going to be going today is meh but starting off we have big hero 6 easily big hero 6 has to go in the amazing tier this is technically a disney and a marvel movie this is a very cool awesome inventive animated superhero film and i'm a sucker for a good brother story the brother story between hero and his brother is so emotional it makes you want a warm hug from baymax which is what we get and baymax is one of the most likable disney characters possibly of all time on a scale of one to ten how would you rate your pain he's so lovable every time baymax is on the screen he makes you feel so warm and fuzzy on the inside and you also have a really cool cameo from Stan Lee but with this brother story how emotional it is that he lives on his brother's dream with Baymax and he ends up getting him to basically be like a super bot in himself is an awesome movie this movie is epic on so many proportions and I love it a lot next up speaking of that meh movie Winnie the Pooh um, I've, I was not expecting this to be a Disney revival film I've seen it one time and it's gonna go in the meh tier um, I love the original Winnie the Pooh movies. I enjoy them at least and just seeing this one It's it's okay, and if I was a kid I think I would enjoy it a lot more But um, the newer Winnie the Pooh movies that they make it just doesn't hit the same as it did as a kid Who knows maybe I'm just a Winnie the Pooh hater, but this and like Christopher Robin I didn't really love like I kind of wanted to so it's going in the meh tier Next up we have Tangled the reason we're doing this tier ranking today and Tangled is easily going in the amazing tier quite frankly if there was a tier above amazing i think that's where tangled would go tangled is perfection and i watched it for the first time this year back in january and i've now seen it four times this year alone eugene fitzherbert and rapunzel are two amazing characters and eugene is someone who's kind of a scoundrel and a scumbag at first but he really turns around you end up loving him by the end of the film zachary levi voices his character to absolute perfection and mandy moore has the ultimate princess voice at for rapunzel and you have a great sidekick and pascal this film is funny it's a story that is everyone knows and they did something a little bit different with it and she wants to go back and see the lanterns and little does she know that that's where her family sets out for her every night and it's an emotional movie it's an amazing movie it's a hilarious movie and it has some great songs the opening number that rapunzel sings when she's swinging around her hair it gets you in the disney spirit i absolutely love tangled it's one of my favorite animated movies of all time next up we got uh wreck it ralph 2 ralph breaks the internet ralph breaks the internet's gonna go in okay and solely for the Disney princess cameos, because that cameo in that scene is like, that's awesome. That's like next level awesome. But this one was fine. And I, I think I what I liked about it is that it kind of had more a little bit more jokes in there that I guess I could relate to. Because every time you were on the internet, it was where they trying to go. There's ads popping out. They're like, hey, it's weird little things you never thought you would have. That's something that I thought was pretty funny. And the Disney princess scene, all that cameos is really, really awesome. But other than that, this is a little bit of a forgettable movie. I'm going to leave it there. Lead on to Wreck-It Ralph. I'm putting Wreck-It Ralph in the good tier. I'm not a big Wreck-It Ralph guy, but the first Wreck-It Ralph, how he's always the villain, he's always the bad guy, and he always loses, and he doesn't want to lose anymore. John C. Riley is a great voice cast for our character Ralph. The whole video game world that we get brought into is epic and awesome, and it kind of just makes you feel like a kid all over again. It has a lot of nostalgia games and nostalgia vibes inside of it, and when basically you're done playing the game, where do these characters go? That's something that I guess I kind of thought about as a kid. Like, oh, I wonder what they're doing when I'm not playing. And this is what it shows. It kind of dives in deep into that. And for me, that gave me a nostalgia feeling. Next up is Frozen. Hate me all you want. Frozen's going in the amazing tier. How people say let it go. They've heard it a billion times and they're tired of it. Not me. Everyone says, oh my god, love it is an open door. It's so cliche for couples to sing. My girlfriend and I still sing it. I love this movie. Olaf is the ultimate side character. Um, this one I don't like as much as Tangled. But I definitely love this one quite a bit. From Sven and Kristoff to the ultimate plot twist at the end of this film. That's one of my favorite plot twists of all time. Because when I first saw it, I was probably 15 at the time. I liked the movie and that plot twist happened. I was like... What? And I think all of us can agree that no one saw that plot twist coming. An epic movie, an amazing movie, a very emotional movie, and true love's kiss or an act of true love is what uh, saved her frozen heart. Pretty epic. Pretty epic, folks. 
Next up is Frozen 2. Again, amazing tier. I like Frozen 2 more than the other Frozen. And I know I'm probably going to get a hate on this video. Feel free to hit the thumbs down button. We embrace it over here. But Frozen 2 songs are amazing. Frozen 2's story how she's trying to find out exactly where she came from. Lots of people aren't a fan of that. I am. And the song Show Yourself is easily the best from the film or Lost in the Woods. Into the Unknown got all the spotlight. But Show Yourself, Edina Menzel, she just lets her vocal range go. And this film, I remember he's getting chills so many times. And when Olaf dies, spoiler alert, he dies, my girlfriend and I both were bawling our eyes out in a theater full of children. Therefore, it is an amazing movie. Next up is Zootopia, and I believe this is now Zootropolis, they're calling it. I'm putting Zootopia in the good tier. A funny movie, a very creative movie, but this is a film I've only seen once, and I don't find myself wanting to go back and rewatch it. And for me, that's a problem. I'm a big guy on rewatchability, and Zootopia is not one I really want to go back and rewatch really ever i saw it once in theaters and i remember really enjoying it the sloth scene is very funny there's lots of very funny scenes inside of this film and um jason bateman as the fox in this film is really good but other than that i couldn't even really tell you what happens inside this film i remember liking it but not one i really want to go back and rewatch. it's a good movie not my favorite Next up, we have Moana. Moana's got to go on the amazing tier. I, it kind of sucks I keep putting all these in amazing tier, but hey, I'll do what I want over here. Moana's great. And Dwayne Johnson and Ali Cravalho, that's how you say your name. The story between Maui and Moana is perfect. And um, Pua, I thought, was kind of going to be like the main sidekick, but it's actually Hey Hey, and Hey Hey's hilarious. The songs in this are amazing. The stakes are at an all-time high, and the journey for this girl to truly find herself and try where to find where she will go. And I'm having to get a demigod who was once king of the world, who is now pretty much on the lowest level possible. She has to get him back to being a hero again. Lots of lessons to be learned inside this film with Hey Hey making you you laugh throughout it and a lot of songs especially shiny that's my favorite last up on this list the princess and the frog i'm gonna put princess and the frog in the good tier i'm not a big princess and the frog guy but i can embrace it that it's a good movie a um story again we've kind of seen times before especially in shrek Never thought about that. It's kind of kind of in Shrek, I guess. But Shrek 2, one of those. Anyways, beside the point. Princess and the Frog is this one I never really dug, but I definitely enjoy the New Orleans kind of atmosphere we get. My girlfriend's going to kill me for putting it in good because I she absolutely loves this film. For me, it's good. It's not one I want to rewatch a lot. Kind of like Zootopia. I've seen it once or twice. I don't really want to go back and rewatch it. But there you guys have it. There's my current tier ranking of all the Disney revival era films. I love the majority of these films. A lot of them are amazing. And I love Tangled a lot. So I got, I'm so excited I got to make this video. What is your guys' ranking like? Let me know down below in the comment section. If you are new here and you made it to the end of the video, feel free to hit that subscribe button. Hit the thumbs up button. I'm trying to get to 800 subscribers before the end of November. It's not looking likely, but help a brother out. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all next time.